lot with a bunch of very shady people having to do with missing students' disappearances. So, like, yeah, you're supposed to trust the teacher, but I don't know. The way you said that Kate was nothing like Rachel sounds like he knew her and maybe he liked her, almost. I know that's kind of jumping to conclusions, but let's tell him and see where this goes. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Um. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. That's Nathan. Sure. I just told someone Make me beautiful, he's gonna Nathan. know. Bo. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Hey. How do I love Taylor? Hello, you Alyssa. Let's take a photo of you. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Alright, well, if you ever need help, just let me, let me know and I'll save you from getting a concussion again. Do you um, think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Hey, assholes, get out of my seat. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Assholes. It's okay. She's gonna get karma. Hazen's probably gonna kill her or something. Alright, let's sit down and take another selfie. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Okay, yeah, that's a little suspicious. Hey Warren, have you come to give me that hug? What up, Max? Hey Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time yeah, maybe as you usual. Still go to that movie. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? 
I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their I guess Kate will miss class now. Although we don't technically see... I'm no. worried about her. Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Oh, Zachary, Chucky. do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Oh no, what's going on? Dismissed. You see that? Is this for real? Pitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh no. Kate! No! Oh God! I, I, she can't die. She can't. What do I do? Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh no. This is taking its toll on me. to get to the roof somehow yes doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself did you come to get another pulitzer shot like yesterday max oh no everything i say is permanent I had no idea at the time of that photo, though. I had no idea what was going on between you and David. Really? So you took a picture to find out? How else would I find out? You'll find out if I jump right now. Everybody will. Please don't. Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate. Your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend, and so is Warren. I, I don't want you to die. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Um... 
Nathan is involved somehow, I think. If I tell her she was drugged, she might not like that. Even though I already told her in the dorms. Um, of course. Like I said this morning, I think Nathan is involved. I just need time to prove it. And I have a way with time. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? Please don't no. slip and fall. Nobody cares what? about me. Nobody. What are you talking about? Um. Wait. Oh no. How many siblings does she have? Oh no. Um. I want to say her father. You know, he cares that what she does and she doesn't want her doing that so that's fine right oh no Kate I saw that card from your father you can count on him he clearly loves you without question dad does care even though I hurt him he's the only one I know who believes in me see you're not alone and nobody down there wants to see you up here this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Uh. <sighs> Alright, I could do something really dirty and look through my recordings, but I don't think I even looked at something. I want to say Matthew 11.28. I hope I'm right. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, 
since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Yeah, that the, that's the whole reason she was up there, because Jefferson made her cry, and that just pushed her over the edge. Um, if I had told him that David bullied her, they'll still seem like sour grapes. And I just don't have enough evidence to prove that Nathan dosed her. I think this is very serious and needs to be addressed for now. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. I'm sorry, but I have to. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. That was one intense episode. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Yeah, Look you at still me. need to give me a hug, I'm asshole. a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? What? The what? weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. 